right here. These four people are going to space next week, and they will go farther away from Earth than any astronauts since the final Apollo mission. Yeah, soaring three and a half times higher than the International Space Station is one of the bold moves of Polaris Dawn. News 6's James Barbera will be there for the launch Tuesday morning. He joins us now with the details of those daring milestones. As a research chemist, Dr. Ken Kramer is very familiar with the dangers of space like radiation. Ken can tell us more about SpaceX preparing for this mission, boldly going higher in Dragon than ever before, Ken. What sorts of things do they have to look out for? Well, the radiation could be extreme. Uh, as I said at the briefing, they could get about three months worth of radiation you would have on the ISS during the about three orbits they're going to do. We're talking about like seven hours or so. So that's a lot of radiation in a short amount of time. And radiation obviously can be deadly. It could cause cancer. It could cause all kinds of diseases. So you got to protect the astronauts as well as the crew dragon because radiation could impact the spacecraft systems. And then they can't get home either. Ken and I were at that briefing Monday at Kennedy Space Center, which he just mentioned. We heard from Jared Isaacman, the commander of Polaris Dawn. Here he is talking more about the risks associated with this bold objective. When you go higher into space, there comes with all sorts of potential challenges. You're putting a lot of energy into a vehicle, then you take it out. But there's other, other realities when you're up there too, which is a completely different micrometeorite orbital debris environment. So a lot of smart people at SpaceX figured out the optimal times for us to launch, which is why we have that launch window. And currently that launch window opens at 3.38 in the morning on Tuesday. The launch has been delayed 24 hours since the briefing Monday. If anything changes again, we'll update you on News 6 and ClickOrlando.com. If not, rejoin us here at the Space Center at 11 o'clock Monday night as our team coverage of the countdown begins. At NASA's Kennedy Space Center, I'm James Sparvero. Getting results, News 6.